Hey. Why are you yawning? Oh, we're in the apocalypse right now. Oh, we're going. Well, you know, you know, the apocalypse. That all the ash just makes me so tired. Like, there's no vitamin D or vitamin C. I'll give you some vitamin D if you don't uh, stop yawning. I'll give you some vitamin F. Vitamin. Fuck you. <laughs> yeah. That's a good one. You want to hear some ASMR? All right, go ahead. It's gonna sound so nice. <laughs> Not even doing it for the pop filter is good. It's not terrible. <laughs> pop filter makes it better. Okay, okay, okay. Uh, probably not actually. Okay. That is a satisfying sound. Yeah, I think I actually like peaked the mic. <laughs> Did it really? It, it, well, I have a limited on, so it, 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 the mic won't be peaked. But it was as loud as it could be. <laughs> Alrighty, let's get to it. Alright. So, what do you think, Mr. Vite? Hey, I can, I can hear. I can actually hear through him. You seriously can? Yeah, I can actually hear through him. For real. Like, through, like, the vibrations and stuff like that? No, I can hear the sound coming out of him. Legit. You can, too. Hear it? If I have it, like... This, I can barely hear it. Here. Come on. Oh. Right, the music. Yeah. Okay. Alright, it's a good start to the episode. <laughs> We're very professional, you know. After all... The victim was murdered in two different places at the same time. And a different suspect was arrested at each of the crime scenes. Donna! Good morning, Mr. Wright. I apologize for yesterday. I was... indisposed. I hope they didn't hold you uh, too long for questioning. We, um, just finished, actually. I'm... Used to all-nighters, though. So, how'd it go? It's as Mr. Wright suspects. The police are clueless. I figured as much, so I struck a plea bargain. A plea bargain? What do you mean by that? We agree that if I told them the truth behind this simultaneous murder they wouldn't seek capital punishment that's what i mean emma Lana, don't tell me you much to my regret i'm as much in the dark about this as they are the sky um <laughs> we, 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 we found trace evidence of a certain person in the police department's evidence room. It belonged to Officer Jake Marshall. What kind of trace evidence? Blood-stained fingerprints, to be exact. That's the trump card I have have up my sleeve today. You do understand that this means... You do understand what this means, don't you? <laughs> it's the weakest... Thing ever at first <laughs> in order to defend my sister you're going to accuse mr marshall we have to play the cards we're dealt isn't that right miss guy do what you have to do mr wright and the next step is <laughs> <laughs> Court is now in session for the trial of Miss Elena Skye. <laughs> yeah, the judge was like just sipping some coffee for like a long time, a very uncomfortable amount of time. <clears throat> oh, we're ready, yeah. The defense is ready, Your Honor. Prosecution is... Hmm. <laughs> 
I'm afraid you'll have to clarify. It takes 30 minutes by car to reach the police department from the prosecutor's office. Yet the victim, Bruce Goodwin, was slain at both places at the same time. But that's not physically possible, is it? What's more, I hear the victim from the evidence room just d -d 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 disappeared. Yes, and the body eventually reappeared in the trunk of Mr. Edgewood's car. Wow. This is one messed up trial. One of my duties as prosecutor is to present impartial evidence. Today I will present evidence relating to the murder at the police department. In so doing, I believe the, in the way in which we should proceed will reveal itself. Alright, that was a close one, but... Yeah, <laughs> got it. Now that's what sets Mr. Edgewood apart. He sounds so on top of things. Even though he doesn't know what's going on himself. And that's what's supposed to be an admirable trait? Very well, let the trial presume. On the day of the crime, what exactly transpired at the police department? Mr. Redgeworth, you may call your first witness of the day to the stand. For its first witness, the prosecution calls the suspect of the murder that occurred at the police department. The suspect? You mean the so-called Murderer! Oh boy! Things are getting wild from the get-go! The guy go get-go. <laughs> Will the witness state his name and occupation? And did you also know that you could save 15% or more on common shirts? <laughs> yes, sir! I am Officer Mia McMeekin, sir! My occupation is, um... That would be murderer, sir! <laughs> that would be murderer, sir! <laughs> what? Eh! Uh, um... <laughs> this is my new thing, I just... I just sassily drink coffee while I'm... Oh, waiting. So, you're telling us you're a <laughs> professional killer? Sir, it was me, sir. I'm the one who did it. <laughs> I never kill anyone again, sir. You've got to believe me, sir. <laughs> uh, <laughs> actually, what we like is, uh, sir. I want you to call uh, a part of the other generation, sir. A person who's ever actions that those can't possibly keep me in! Uh, please, Mr. Redgeworth, sir! Help me, sir! Officer Meekins! Y yes sir! Give us your report on the crime. Consider that an order. Who's playing just music? Mm. This is quite... Mm. What the kids call... Bussin. <laughs> <laughs> I love this bussin music. <laughs> This uh, makes my bussy quiver. Oh, God. <laughs> yes, sir, as you wish. After all, I am a part of a generation that must be told what to do, sir. <laughs> you can't fall him for a lack of enthusiasm. <laughs> Although it's not my normal duty, I was assigned to guard the evidence room that day. I spotted this suspicious man on the security screen and rushed into the room! I was only doing what I was trying to do, sir! I was suddenly attacked! I fought for my life, but I... I did it! <laughs> After that, I passed out to another officer smacked me awake! <laughs> Ah, worker worker. <laughs> so the victim, Detective Goodman, attacked you. Do unto others before they do unto you. That's <laughs> to make his family motto, sir. I see. Then you fainted in a 
colleague helped you regain consciousness. Yes, sir. He left me outside the head, sir. Very well. Did the things may begin at cross examination? What I need here is more info to work with. Oh, we gotta put the sponsor out. <laughs> Please send us an email. Although it's not my normal duty, I was assigned to guard the evidence room that day. You son of yeah, a bitch! Yeah, I know, I'm a fucking moron. Ow! I hurt myself doing that! <laughs> Ow! <laughs> what did you do? I, like, I crushed my finger on the, on the trigger. <laughs> what? <laughs> yeah. Mr. Meekins, you work in the General Affairs Department, do you not? Yes, sir! I am in charge of hiring new recruits, sir! Yikes! Now there's a scary thought. Evidence transfer was taking place on the day of the crime. Which meant many officers were given special tasks not ordinarily performed. I was in charge of guarding the blue badger, sir! The blue badger! Yes, sir! The lovely police mascot created by the chief of detectives, sir! Oh, fuck! I was doing sure it wasn't broken during the transfer process! Oh, God almighty. That was my sole mission for the day, sir! <sighs> I see! Sounds like a very uh, important mission! <laughs> I thought there was so many finish that day. There were so many people running around. Then I relocated the blue badger to the evidence room. Oh, so that's why you went to the evidence room. Get over his unnatural glaze when pills again. What's happening? My God, you want to? I am in an older age, Mr. Edgeworth. Please excuse my unintentional moaning and noises. Tell us, what did you see when you got there? Not on Beacons. I was talking to Beacons, Your Honor. That's what a suspicious man on the security screen and rushed into the room. In order to enter the evidence room, you need an ID card, am I correct? Precisely so! I have one right here about my neck! So then, your ID number should be listed on here, right? There it is! I found it! <laughs> this, this is the one right here! Could you please read us the number? <laughs> Yes, sir! It's 4989596! That's my number, sir! <laughs> sir, could you please come to the stand? Not on crack cocaine! Sorry, sir! I see. Huh. But the number 4989895966969969 is shown as being used twice! Please explain, witness. It's no real mystery, sir. The first time is when I relocated the blue badger to the evidence room. And the second time is when I went to go get him after everything settled down. I see. So it was during that second time when... Yes, sir. That's when I spotted the man on the security screen. ID, ID card, card record was updated. Uh, uh, oh. Dumbass. I was only doing what I was trained to do, sir. I was suddenly attacked. So you were attacked. Can you please tell us exactly what happened to you? It was a knife, sir! A knife! Detective Goodman pulled a knife on you! What happened then? Well, with me charging in on him like that, he looked as surprised as I was! You aren't exactly the kind of person someone would want to run into, you crackhead motherfucker. <laughs> That's what I reacted, sir! I swung my arms like an octopus, struggling to detain him! That's how I got this gash on my hand! 
Maybe if you just kept you cool, your hands wouldn't be. But I saw the blood trickling down my arm. I panicked! I grabbed the man by his collar! I fought for my life. Then I. I did it! Holy, did what? Did what? What exactly do you mean when you say you did it? I know I don't look the type, but I'm really into Kung Fu film, sir. The man let his gun down for just an instant. So I snatched his knife from him! You took his knife? I spun him around and performed the disarming maneuver! I made sure to close my eyes like a man! I... I, uh, see... He must have been desperate. The next thing I knew, his white coat was drenched in a sea of my blood! And then... Then the next thing I knew... Yes? He punched me right in the <laughs> face, sir! <laughs> After that, I passed out until another rough serve swept me awake. About what time did you regain consciousness? <gasps> no offense, sir. But how am I supposed to know that? I was unconscious! Oh, right. According to the report from the officer that woke up the witness, it was about 5.30. <laughs> if I had a head to. I woke up crying tears of pain! That's nice. I mean, it's uh, nice that you recovered. Uh, that, 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 that is. <laughs> when I came around, though, I made sure to finish my mission, sir. Your mission? Yes, sir. The blue badges, sir. I returned them to the entrance before things got out of hand. Well, we can all rest easy now. I believe we now have a fairly accurate picture of what happened! Yes, Your Honor. Only one thing remains unclear. Was the man this mur officer murdered really the victim? He's got a point. Um. Yes, Officer Meekins! Uh, with regard to that, sir. Take a look at this! It was sent to my jail cell! Chief Gant delivered it to me just this morning, sir! The chief... Delivered it? What is that? A videotape? Yes, sir! That's absolutely right, sir! A videotape, sir! It contains footage from the security camera in the evidence room! Objection. What? But I specifically asked if there was such a tape, and was told it had been mistakenly erased. That's quite a mistake! I, I just do what I've done, sir. It's the only thing I'm feeling good at! Looks like communication with the police department is as good as ever. <clears throat> well then, let's have a look! Show us a video of you murdering the victim, you snot-nosed lizard! Oh, please stop using that word, murder, sir. It scares me. Scares you? A video of a real murder. Just what are we getting ourselves into? Oh, fuck me. I hope that's the murderer. I should do pay attention to this. Huh? I should do pay attention to what's happening. I am, I am. Like any weird things you notice. He's fucking dead. Total shit, dude.
him. Well, I... <laughs> I believe we're all thinking the same thing. Um, how can we deal with these unsettling feelings stirred within us? What the hell was that wriggly <laughs> piece of plywood? <laughs> sir, that's the part of the entire criminal affairs department, sir! It's the blue badger, sir! Why am I not surprised this isn't going smoothly? Security video! Video, video of the security camera place in the evidence room! Oh my god, doing doing the judge makes me lightheaded. <laughs> I've been screaming all day. <laughs> I know, bro. Are you lightheaded? I'm no. lightheaded. It's just my thoughts have been sore. Yes, well, anyway. This tape seems to prove that the witness did indeed encounter a someone <laughs> in the evidence room and some sort of activity did take place. Your Honor, instead of relying on clearly incomplete footage, the witness's testimony will suffice. Is that all right with you, Officer Meekins? Yes, sir! As you wish, sir! His face can't be clearly seen in the video. But there's no question that the other person was Detective Goodman, sir. I mean, he opened the locker, which required Detective Goodman's fingerprint to do! The locker he opened is unquestionably Detective Goodman's locker, sir! So it must be him! No one else could have unlocked it! What is this about a fingerprint? Each detective has been given a locker equipped with a fingerprint activated lock. These locks ensure that each locker can be opened with the detective it belongs to. And a territory game, that would mean... The victim at the crime scene would have been, been, would have to have been Detective Goodman! Very well, the defense may be under it. Cross examination! I don't know where this cross examination will lead, but everything begins with contradictions. That's where I have to start. His face can't be clearly seen in the video. Tell me, were you able to get a good look at him? At the face of the man who attacked you with a knife! Sir, if you must label people as having seen or not seen the man's face, I believe it would be classified as... The latter? The latter? But you were standing right in front of him, were you not? More to the point, you are a person who fought him under you. Oh yes, sir. But... I didn't get a clear look at his face, sir. I'm not the kind of guy who looks directly at people when talking with them, you see. Yeah, that's a good trait for a police officer. Still, I'm sure it was him! I put my badge on it! But there's no question that the other person was Detective Goodman, sir. You actual motherfucker. Damn it, I don't know why I still do that. <sighs> You don't know that for sure, do you? Uh, you never actually saw Detective Goodman's face. Well, I suppose you might say that. That is, if you must label people as having seen or oh, not seen it. Since his face can't be identified in a video, only you can verify it. <clears throat> Why is everyone looking at me? <laughs> I had to label your stairs as disturbing or. Mickens! Ah! What the fuck? Having been shown a questionable video at best, we are not in the best of moods. Now please be almost certain when you testify. Yes, sir! You claim that the man who brandished the knife on you was Bruce Goodman. Tell us why you were positive it was him. But he opened the locker, which required Detective Goodman's fingerprint to do. About these lockers, is there no other way to open them? No, sir! I myself tried all kinds of methods in the past! They only respond to his registered fingerprints, sir! 
I wonder what kind of methods he tried. If the men open the locker's lock, which only responds to which registered fingerprints, then he must be the person the locker was assigned to. Exactly right point, sir! And this too! The locker he opened it unquestionably. Detective Goodman's locker, sir. You actual... Fuck me, wait, wait. Fuck, 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 don't do it. Don't do it, I just gotta go back. All right, I won't do it. <laughs> How do you know that information? I've heard rumors, sir, from people in the know, sir. People in the know? So who comes in the department cafeteria, sir? They keep me informed. They also led into my romantic troubles, sir! <laughs> For the record, the open locker did indeed belong to Detective Goodman. I verified this information through a more reliable source. Hmm. So the victim opened the locker with his own fingerprint. I must be him. No one else could ever locked it. However, the most important detail is not shown in this video. The man's face. Sir. If I may say something, sir. Please do, after all, you are the one being examined. I don't understand why the man's face is so important in this case, sir. I mean, it was his hand that opened the fingerprint lock, and it was his hand that tried to thrust his life into my body, sir! My unsettled state can testify enough to this! Sir. Yes, you have a point. The footage doesn't lie. Just like Shakira's Oops. <laughs> that is. Unless the defense can find a problem with it. That's right. Let's check the court record again. Is there a problem with the security video? Oh, uh, yeah, okay. Yeah, you, can, you can watch it right now. Oh, Any evidence that can, like, prove that this couldn't. This might not be Detective Goodman. Good ADR, right? Mm-hmm. I'm dead. Okay. Okay, uh, is there an exit? So, I mean, do you, I mean, like, Think about this logically, okay? Yeah. If why would they present uh, give you this piece of evidence if it wasn't important? Right. Well, we don't see him go back. Like, he doesn't walk in front of the camera again to leave. No, he doesn't. That's really weird. Now, I'm not gonna lie. The whole time I was just watching the clock to make sure that it was actually moving forward in time. So I'm gonna watch it again. Okay. Uh, though, uh, yeah, this footage is not altered. Okay. So. A piece of paper falls out. Of it wasn't the, the paper. Locker. What was it? It was the glove. The oh, rubber glove. Okay, rubber glove. All right, so we walked by. <clears throat> apparently wearing the same trench coat that Lana wears in the picture. Which was Goodman's trench coat. Goodman's, right. Why would this not be Goodman? Let's see here. Glove falls out. Yeah. Here comes old freaking Meekins. Oh, we can seize him. Oh, what are you doing there, buddy? Ah! There's a knife. Okay, there's blood on it. That's where the blood comes from. Stabby, stabby. And then you don't see him leave. Like, where, where'd he go? Yeah. 
Where'd he go? Did he crawl out? That's possible, yeah. He could have crawled, right? And then you don't see him? He could have crawled, yeah. Alright, uh, go to the next one. Next again. I mean, there's gotta be a problem. And it's not exact. I mean, yeah, I mean, the problem is we don't, we don't see him leave. Regarding the video contained on this tape, there's one thing in the particular that seems rather strange. Strange? This contradiction leads to the possibility that the man may not have been Detective Goodman. What? This video contains such a contradiction. Interesting. You want to have a proposal? Yes, Mr. Badgeworth. A proposal we have the defense point out to us this alleged contradiction in the video. He would want me to point it out. Very well. Proposal accepted. Let us further inspect this piece of evidence. I will now play the security in the next episode, in the next episode of uh, if you try to make a subscribe hit that bell smash that dislike button leave a hate comment and do everything stay in your power to make us feel sexy. bad it was poison. I got a pee no, I got a piss okay go ahead